Today is the last day of the rainy season in Asia. It's the last day of the Katina season. And it's a day in which the Buddha gave his teachings on breath meditation, or the fullest exposition of his teachings on breath meditation. So let's focus on our breaths. One time he told the monks to meditate on the breath, and one monk said, I already do that. And this was not a monk that the Buddha knew for being especially good, so he asked him, well, what kind of breath meditation do you do? And the monk said, I just put aside all thoughts of the past, all expectations of the future, and I'm aware of my breath as it comes in and goes out. And the Buddha said, that does count as breath meditation, but it's not the most productive. The most productive is when you're more proactive. And then he set out his second, <coughs> his 16 steps, which involve breathing in a way that gives rise to pleasure, breathing in a way that gives rise to rapture, breathing aware of the whole body, calming the effect of the breath on the body. Ways of bringing the mind to settle down and then releasing it. In other words, you take responsibility for your state of mind. And you help use the breath as an anchor, you use the breath as an aid. Because all too often when we get angry, anger takes over our breath. When we're fearful, fear takes over the breath. Then it uses the breath to force us to feel like we've got to do something based on the anger, we've got to do something based on the fear. We have to take the breath back, put wisdom, put mindfulness, put skillful intentions in charge of the breath. And that way it becomes our ally instead of being our enemy. It can actually help us calm down and then look at this situation that we're facing. And as the Buddha points out, it, it's true that there's a lot of bad stuff going around in the world, but you don't have to suffer from it. As I said last night in the Thai talk, it's like people leave arrows around, and you pick them up and you stab yourself with them. So just leave them there. You don't have to pick them up, you don't have to stab yourself. You can treat yourself better. And as you treat yourself better, treat yourself with wisdom, then you find that the problems in the world just roll off your back, like water off of a duck's back. And you realize that you're in charge. So whatever the world does, your goodness doesn't have to depend on the goodness of the world. Your, your goodness can be independent. Because you develop skills, and the skills start right here, as you breathe in, as you breathe out. So try to stay established right here, stay grounded right here, and you're becoming from a position of strength. <coughs>